Bally Turk uh, is the new uh, end of Walsh uh, play that opened in the Galway Arts Festival and is now coming to Dublin and to Cork as well. And two of the stars of Bally Turk are with us now, Killian Murphy and Stephen Ray. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Uh, good to see both of you. Uh, rave reviews. Didn't read them. Did you not? Oh, you don't read. No, you don't read. No, don't. Do you don't read reviews. No. No. Ah, you do. <laughs> you just say you don't. No, I don't. Right. No. Does Ender read them? I don't. I don't think he does. See, I think he does. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says he doesn't. Uh, and how do you, you just you, you get a sense of? The, you, so you don't respect what the critics have to say. Is that it? Or well, right? it's personally for me. There's two things: you're Irish, and then you're an actor. So you never believe anything good. You'll only focus on <laughs> what's the tiny, the tiniest, minuscule detail that may be negative and then that will yeah, expand. Yeah, you live with it for years and years. Yeah. So it's best not to do it. Yeah, because you're fragile, aren't you, actors? And yeah. then you have to do it again that night, you know, after, if you've read them. Yes. It's a wonderful relief not to read them. And oh, at what stage in your career, Stephen, did you decide not to read reviews? I'm quite, quite early. I mean, I mean, I remember I thought that I got very bad reviews for something in England, in London. And then I read that review, some of those reviews, some years later, and they were quite good, actually. It's right. just you're in a state of rather paranoid. Yeah. Fragile. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And you're only called numbers. So, Killian, you're number one. Yeah. Stephen, you're number three. And yeah. Michael Murphy's number two. <laughs> is that is that it? Yeah. He That's got right. the he yeah. got the short end of the stick, didn't he? <laughs> um, and then and then Stephen's character comes into the room. So there's a different energy which kind of smashes that energy so right so you're you're the killjoy are you Stephen <laughs> yeah I guess you could say that <laughs> it seems to be my function <laughs> um, no well it's just it goes into a more kind of a, a, a different kind of pace and a different um, language thing so yeah yeah, and uh, both of you've worked with Enda before, have you? Or, no, I've no you haven't. But you, <laughs> you too, as well. You look, you look uh, amazing. I was just uh, every time you come in, I have to check your age. I have to say, are you sure that's right? Yeah, well, you know what I say every time is uh, inner decay. No, inner <laughs> decay. <laughs> I see you have loom bands on. You must have a. Um, oh, there's a, a little girl in the play, right? Um, and the, in in Galway, the little girl made us all. Yeah, one of those each. They're amazing things. Uh, my daughter's seven. She's obsessed yeah. with them. Yeah. Boys, she makes them. them. She makes them. Yeah, she makes them. Yeah, they do it in about seven minutes. Yeah, they? and they're all. She's onto sculptures now. She makes little chicks and all that sort of thing. Right. Um, so that's that's what intrigues me. Looking at theatre actors, you know, how do you how do you get up for it every night? Well, you just have to. You know, it's kind of different sort of ritual than doing film. You 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 know, you prepare yourself all day. And uh, do you? Yeah, yeah, and then you do some act of purification, <laughs> whether it's a shower or what. Then you go on and hope to be in a pure state to do something completely insane. Mm. Yeah. And film is is equally insane, really, but it's just more manageable somehow. It seems. You know. You're on our TV screens at the moment in the Honourable Woman. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've I've have it on um, series record. Does that mean you haven't seen that either? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> really not talk about anything here. <laughs> 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 well, uh, look, I would have, I would have got, I would have, if they put on a, a preview of Bally Turk, I would have gone to it. No, no, no problem. I have a young family, Stephen, and I, I can't I be travelling down to Galway I'm, to see you. I'm, yeah, because yeah. uh, I, uh, I've, the first thing I ask, because you, you, you haven't started in Dublin yet. You're starting uh, on the seventh in the Olympia Theatre to the twenty third, and then you're in Cork from the twenty sixth to the thirtieth. Yeah. Um, uh, how do you feel about the poster? Do you, do you like the poster? It's a nice poster. Have you seen the, the poster? The buses. Yeah. I Is actually it? haven't seen it on a bus. Have you? I, I have seen, seen it, it yeah. on a bus. Yeah. yeah. It's. I know it's on a bus, but I haven't seen it on, on a bus. Yeah. Apparently, uh, somebody rang the Olympia going. I heard there's a great new band called Bally Turk. Because <laughs> <laughs> we do look like. I definitely look like the bass player. Anyway. <laughs> you you play ukulele. Well, occasionally. <laughs> well, do, you, do, you, do you bring? Is that part of your daily ritual before you go on stage? No, I didn't bring my ukulele. Did, we were all uh, sharing a dressing room in Galway, and I didn't want to inflict my ukulele right. playing on Michael and Stephen. It would have been unfair. God, I would have thought you were, at your level, like you would have had a, a dressing room each. Well, not if you're working in the black box in Galway. They don't. 
They right. Have, um, in the Olympia, will you will you have a, a dressing room each? I'm hoping there'll be. <laughs> just wants to get away <laughs> from us. <laughs> He's had enough. <laughs> and I suppose you get into the theatre two hours beforehand and you, everyone has their different routines. Like Stephen said, you, you go on stage and you warm up and you... Uh, I think I reach a sort of a pitch of hysteria slightly about sort of five minutes before, <laughs> before the show, which Stephen and Michael can attest to because we were sharing a dressing room. But I'll do that privately from now on. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> right, you well, you see, you're doing something different. I always felt that when we were in Galway doing... You and Michael have to be at a kind of very high pitch to That's start true. the thing. Yeah. And true. I'm... I enter with a completely different uh, level. Right. So <laughs> that's why I had to go somewhere else rather than my dressing room. <laughs> yeah. uh, Stephen is amazing in Honourable Woman. Um, Honourable Woman, excellent show, and how very topical. That's it, isn't it? Because yeah. it's, yeah. it's, uh, the, ga- it's show, the backdrop yeah. is the, the, uh, Israel and the Gaza Johnson, Strip. Yeah. Um, and they'd end up right around D3. Um, I think he had us in mind, yeah, when he when he when he wrote the characters. I don't want to speak for him, but I believe that was that was the way he wrote it. And I think he very much had Stephen in mind for number three. Number three. <laughs> and does this does this create huge pressure on anybody who's going to tackle this again? Yeah, it's doesn't it? Be impossible. For <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Just because you don't read reviews, the honourable woman has got great reviews, and you, your performance, particular particularly good reviews. It's not so bad to read the reviews of a television thing because you don't have any responsibility to do yeah. it again. Ah, yes, yes, know? yes. And yeah. so you're not objectifying it. That's, that's what I feel. Yeah. Uh-huh. But right. I have heard that they're good, yeah. Okay. He's um, a bit of a sex symbol in it, the Honourable Woman. Am I? Oh, yeah. So lots of, lots of opportunities for surprised. you. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do for the rest of the day now? Well, we didn't, we're not performing tonight, so we're just going into technical rehearsals for the rest of the day. Right. And then the seventh, you're starting. That involve me today. Because I come on late in the play, so... Right. And, and what about the future? What are you, Stephen? I'm going to New York after this finishes. We, when we finish this in London, I'm, go, I'm doing a play of Sam Shepard's that we did in Derry last year uh, for the Derry City of Culture, and it's transferring to New York for... A few months until January, so back to back theatre. Ah, it's just what he said. You need a break after and you're in a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'll just read you some of the reviews, just seeing as you haven't read them. Uh, a richly theatrical experience, impeccably acted. The Guardian, dark and giddily disturbing. The Irish Times, stellar performances, impeccable. This is thrilling theatre. Irish Examiner, hilarious, surreal, marvelous to behold. Sunday Business Post. The theatrical values in Ballyturk are magnificent. Sunday Times, heartbreakingly tender, riotously funny. A remarkable achievement. Irish Independent. There you go. Oh well. You say any more? The Honourable Woman is excellent, but can Stephen tell me what? Uh, the hell is going on. It's very complicated. <laughs> Esther wants to know. Oh, well, <laughs> it is complicated. The Middle East is complicated, yeah. isn't it? As yeah. we know. So um, it's kind of, it is a spy thriller as well. And they're trying to work out who's actually responsible for a lot of the bad stuff that's going on. And you're in the MI5? I'm MI6. MI6, is it? Yeah. Right. I think it's MI6. I read this morning MI5. Maybe they got it wrong. But you used to know it's MI6 your character. MI6 is, is, is abroad, isn't it? MI6 is, 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 is local, domestic, is it? Right, it? okay. Right. Um, Stephen, good to see you again, uh, Killian. Thanks for coming Thanks, in. Right. And good luck with uh, the rest uh, of Ballyturk.